Okay, welcome again to another Synoptic revision video. Let's spend a few minutes, if it's okay with you, looking at the micro and macro impacts of carbon trading, uh, again, with respect to the emerging economy of Vietnam. So here's the context for you. Uh, Vietnam, fast-growing country. Of course, that fast-growing country with a population just under 100 million is driving up demand for energy, and that has contributed to a sharp increase in greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, we're told it's left Vietnam with the second highest air pollution in Southeast Asia in 2019. And to combat this, to try and to achieve uh, sustainable development, move towards a low carbon economy and meet their climate change goals, uh, Vietnam is introducing a new carbon emissions trading scheme, one of many actually introduced in countries across the world in recent times. Uh, carbon intensity, which is a measure of emissions per unit of GDP, increased 48% between 20, 2000 and 2010, and then emissions have nearly quadrupled, mainly from coal-based power generation, fast, rapid industrialization, and a growing transport sector. So clearly, this is a major issue on things about externalities and market failure, threats to sustainable development. Uh, we're told that rising air pollution amounted to over contributed to over 60,000 deaths in 2017. The adoption of carbon pricing is hoped to support, going forward in the long term, Vietnam's transition to a low carbon development model, really interesting, and also to protect exports to regions such as the EU. Yes, the European Union is thinking of introducing a carbon border tax. Imports coming into the EU with a high carbon footprint, emissions and things, uh, they could be subject to a tax. So clearly it's, from Viet it's to Vietnam's benefit potentially to do something about that ahead of that new government intervention at European level. Evaluate the likely micro and macro effects of a country, for a country such as, so of a country such as Vietnam, introducing a system of carbon trading. I won't uh, put lots of diagrams in this answer. I uh, just want to map out some thoughts really. Clearly, you use a carbon trading diagram when you as part of this, um, uh, as distinct from a carbon tax. And also, you'd be using ADAS analysis, presumably, uh, to support your analysis. So, micro aspects, again, whenever you're thinking synoptically at the micro level, think about individuals, households, think about uh, firms, think about industries. That is microeconomics. And you can also bring in efficiency, market failure, very happily in this section. You only have to build one solid micro KA point and then evaluate it. Same for macro. So what about micro? Well, the impact, uh, you could say, well, I, I focus on the impact on high and low carbon emitting firms. Airlines, steel plants, presumably in, in Vietnam, emitting lots of carbon. They would face an increase in their costs because they have to buy the permits. And those permits, if they're low efficiency in terms of pollution, those permits get used up pretty quickly. Other businesses would be better placed, renewable suppliers or very efficient manufacturing plants which use less carbon. They might actually end up with a surplus or permits or they have to buy fewer of them in the market. So the impact on firms would be a micro aspect. The possible impact on households, clearly, uh, possible rise in prices as firms pass on those costs. Impact on consumer surplus for particular products. Maybe um, flights will become more expensive and uh, the cost of manufactured goods might go up and you could develop that point to talk about possible inequality there, the regressive effects. What about the impact on externalities and market failure? You could you could talk about, uh, at a micro level, this policy helping Vietnam move output more towards a sustainable, socially optimum output where social benefit is in balance with social cost. And I think at a micro level, I would definitely use economic efficiency. Use it in paper one, use it in paper three, allocative, productive, and in particular, dynamic efficiency. Probably, thinking about this, probably easier in this first KA point to focus on producers because you could certainly use your cost and revenue analysis and your market failure diagrams. But make sure that you link back to the Vietnamese economy because the idea, of course, is they're trying to transition to a low carbon development model. Uh, and that's, you know, you always link back to why they're trying to, why they think carbon trading could be the most efficient way of doing this. Macro, I uh, haven't, Taken quite as many points here, probably a bit more depth than each of these points. Hopefully useful. Uh, I would talk about the impact on investment. Now, on the one hand, uh, both, both uh, by the way, domestic and foreign direct investment coming into Vietnam. 
On the one hand, carbon trading might initially cause less investment because businesses would have to pay the cost of permits. So their operating costs would be higher uh, and that would might dampen investment. But of course, the whole idea of putting a price on carbon, one of the main, the main, main aims of internalising the externality is that you're trying to stimulate new investment in low carbon technologies, including onshore and offshore wind power, including solar um, solar power, other renewables, investment in energy efficient manufacturing and investment in electric cars and trains and vehicles and aircraft. That investment on the back of the carbon pricing could, going forward, with a time lag increase aggregate supply and potential growth. Jobs, big issue there, of course, on the in one hand, think about coal mining. Uh, coal mining probably would be hit there. Uh, and some manufacturing firms uh, that uh, use a lot of carbon, they, they, their costs may go up. So there could be a fall in exports out of Vietnam, perhaps to countries that don't have carbon taxes or carbon trading. Uh, however, new jobs likely to be created in the transition to other sectors, including hopefully investment in renewable energy and also in terms of low carbon manufacturing, the techniques and the tools needed for that to happen. So I've talked about investment and unemployment. Those are macro points. You might also talk about trade balances, competitiveness and inflation. You choose your ground in this paper. You only have to think about one macro point. OK. Again, we always suggest in the final reason comment, uh, which of the effects micro and macro are likely to be most significant and why? Of course, you can't, you can't be certain. There's a great deal of uncertainty whether carbon trading works going forward. Uh, you can generate a lot of rev revenue from taxes and carbon trading, but not necessarily have a big effect. At the micro level, uh, I would pick out that coal industry that was mentioned in the extract, wasn't it? They are likely to face a sharp rise in operating costs. Now, that might, that might cause the, the closure of some coal mines. But the impact depends on the extent to which those coal mining companies can fund investment into maybe clean coal technologies. Carbon capture and storage came immediately to mind. Or diversify. So diversifying to renewables so to, uh, to reduce the risk of carbon trading to them as a commercial business. On the macro side, Vietnam, we're told, is a fast-growing country. I think 6% growth forecast for 2022. So it's likely, given your analysis, that carbon permits will go up each year. And that will drive the price up. Of course, that depends on the extent to which the, the government cuts the supply of carbon emissions permits each year. That will have effect on the carbon price. The other thing I've mentioned here is it does depend in, in a way on whether other countries have carbon trading schemes or carbon taxes and therefore the relative price of carbon permits in Vietnam compared to or contrasted with other countries such as China or perhaps Bangladesh. Well, I hope you found this useful. A quick look at, again, just thinking synoptically about a particular topic. Our context was Vietnam. Our policy was carbon trading. Uh, and uh, it all links in with things like sustainable development and innovation and investment. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please give me a like. Really appreciate it. Uh, take care, everybody. Stay safe, stay positive, stay happy. See you soon.